Hey everyone, in this video I'll be talking about components and system for EV systems and uh, this will be much different uh, research paper based uh, presentation from our previous one because this is the ongoing development that's going on using uh, Hitachi technologies. So what's the motivation behind this uh, whole idea and the operation behind it is that uh, the internal combustion engines um, long used in vehicles um, such as ICE, we call it gasoline cars, uh, are evolving or improving every day as in uh, you get better mileage per uh, mile or kilometer but what's what's there is the environmental crisis that we face is the carbon dioxide um, uh, reduction is still not viable with using a gasoline based uh, vehicle so what what really motivates us in uh, developing ideas and uh, new technology for electric vehicle to progress is the one factor which is a co2 reduction all right, so since CO2 reduction is being promoted globally and everyone is required at some point between the era of 2020 to 2025 to be having uh, replace their combustion engine, which is the ICE, that's the conventional one, the cars that's have, uh, going on right now to be replaced with that of uh, electric vehicles. All right, so Hitachi Automobile Systems, uh, what they have been doing is developing and uh, supplying electric powertrains for this electric vehicle since 1990. But now that this technology and especially the electric vehicles, EVs, are pretty much used by some people and the idea is modernizing, they have been developing and continuing to develop more technology to improve the performance uh, performance of this anticipation of future uh, prolification of environmental compatible vehicles. Now what's really being impacted in this development is a uh, few things. First one we talk about is compact inverter technology. How does this really help us? And I've shown you in the diagram over here you can see what a inver compact inverter looks like. So this is an onboard inverter which is uh, used to convert the pulse width modulation which you get from your direct current the DC and it's being converted to an AC current now why do we really want to do that we really want to do this conversion from a DC to AC because in AC alternating current more applications can be used in a regenerative operation and by that I mean for example, if you want to use your onboard vehicle navigation system, which is inbuilt in your electric vehicle, it's getting its power source from an inverter, right? So this inverter is running so many different applications inside your car. So the more applications you want to use and the user is allowed to use, the user is attracted to that kind of technology. So if you were just inside a car which is just showing you nothing more than a wheel that has a odometer it's not really interesting to buy that car especially uh, knowing the fact that electric vehicle can cost up to hundred thousand dollars to more than that so if you're paying that much amount of price you really want something uh, technological improvement inside your vehicle that when you sit inside it you can have a handful of applications to use to all right, so the onboard application demands uh, that's uh, generated by user, this innovation uh, can help uh, maintain the high voltage in the main circuits and perform uh, high performance control circuits along with the evolution of structural design technology used to mount these components in a compact pack while enabling durable onboard applications that are resistant to vibration and heat. So basically what the improvements are being done is that before this inverters were really big and bulky so it really wasn't heat resistant or when the car was on the road it really was affected by the vibration so you would either lose connection the car would just shut down in the middle of road or something like that so to prevent all this we come out the Hitachi came out with a small compact size inverter which would prevent all this uh, thing from happening and in the future what you might see is a much more compact system as well as more resistance to heat and vibrations so none of these things would be affected the second thing 
that is the most important thing apart from battery sizes that Hitachi is working on and I've talked about battery in our previous video so I'll be skipping over the battery sections and the main important element here is the motor technology now how does this affect us like I mentioned in the uh, conversion of DC to alternative current um, AC currents what really happens is when you use your power steering wheel it also uses a uh, some amount of power now what really happens is when you have a charge car say for 100 kilowatt hour and some amount of charge is being used by power steering wheel now every time your power steering wheel uses some amount of power a less amount of power is really remaining inside your battery pack and that amount is really used for how much miles you really want to travel so what our purpose and motivation is that in if we create a high efficiency in motor technology the less amount of kilowatt will be utilized by your power steering wheel and power steering wheel is just one example that uh, perhaps an EV or hybrid vehicles could probably use now really what really is happening is that if you compare a normal car engine compared to Rolls Royce you can see that when a Rolls Royce moves a engine is very quiet and has a very stable uh, operation with low vibrations. So this is the whole idea behind this um, uh, concept. And this concept behind the standard motor is to reduce the development workload and to standardize components, pr uh, product equipment, and manufacturing practices by designing standard motor specifications that suit variety of different types of electric vehicles, like I mentioned. And in, in all, what's really happening is that one, you really have a small size of motor technology that is to move your wheels or different kinds. Plus, it's lightweight and it's high output but low input. And it's high efficiency, which really means low input and uh, the quiet operation, like I mentioned, and low vibration, like I mentioned as well. So what really happens is if you have a standardized equipment, all the electric vehicle no matter from where it's coming and who is making what kind of vehicle all of these vehicles are using the same standard technology now meeting this requirements will require physical dimensions will allow vehicle layouts to be designed in standardized way over different classes of vehicle now the output characteristics will satisfy a wide range of output requirements such as time rating that suits the characteristics of different types of electric vehicle and range of model variation to suit different end uses. Now what's really happening if I want to show you an image of a motor and how stator is the one where the motor is applied to your wheel that's called stator design and each time when you have a higher stator design with a bigger diameter you can see it has 185 millimeter diameter and has only four coils and apparently from four we have six to eight so there's a different variation in wheel sizes as well so what's really happening is that as your number of coils and diameter are increasing the more efficient your vehicles are going to be now in conclusion apart from the battery pack that we talked about in a previous video is what's happening is that this Hitachi are trying to work to protect the environment in developing products that mean meet the expectation for the market and can make the user more attracted to an electric technologies such as electric vehicles now what can really happen is that the powertrain such as the compact inverter and the stator can be a can be advanced through refinements and power electronics and microprocessors and doing so we can have an iterative process of helping this technology take a higher altitude and uh, perhaps we can have a more efficiency in driving our vehicles I hope you like this video this video was really about uh, components and the system of EV system specifically about the inverter and the stator 
and uh, the battery as I mentioned it was talked about in uh, my previous video if you haven't checked it out check it out and uh, I hope you like this video give it a like subscribe if you haven't and write down your comments if it really helped you understand what this whole concept uh, what Hitachi is really talking about thanks for watching